Hello everyone, welcome to another Sims 4 video and today I'm playing with one of my current households that I'm in love with. This is Sasha. She is one of my favorite Sims. She's a fourth generation Sim that I've been playing. Obviously, I've been playing with her family for a very long time and I decided recently to take her out of her save file, move her into a new save file, all alone and start a fresh kind of like generation one but she actually is generation four and since i did that she has done a lot for herself she started a career in the arts career she's now level four she is married to one of the gr growing together no get together no not get together what's it called for rent the for rent expansion pack townies um panya lee and they are really cute. They're both very artsy. He is actually in the entertainer career level two, and they have a really cute little um, penthouse. And the reason they can afford this is because that prompt where like you have to get married in seven days or 10 days or however long it is to get the money. We did that and we had enough money to afford this lovely apartment in the fashion district. It's probably the cheapest apartment there. And we decorated it in Sasha's favorite style, which is kind of like a modern style. And this morning, I actually wanted Panya to make a really nice breakfast of honey banana toast. But uh, oh, wait, he made it. Oh, <laughs> this is actually from the custom recipes from the Granny's cookbook. I'll link that mod down below. It's amazing. You also need the Homestead Helper, which is this whole thing here. You can make a ton of custom recipes, breakfasts, starters, appetizers, main meals, desserts. There's also things for toddlers as well, like toddler meals. It's really cool. So I love that this. I've never seen this honey banana toast before. So we're going to get Sasha to go ahead and grab some. Of oh, because she's already autonomously going to go and do that. Um, We're starting off today episode and the start of a new year last night was new year's eve so they had a lot of fun celebrating that um and they've been married for a couple of in my game in my head it's been like maybe one sim year um or not one sim year but like if this is real life they've been married for a year so they're still a newly married couple and things like that um and they're doing pretty well for themselves and they have a lot going on aside from being married and just having regular careers sasha has always been very artistic so i thought yeah she's gonna be a painter that's what she's gonna do but a few days ago she rolled a want to study art history at university which I think it's great because obviously that could further her career more if she completed the degree, help her make more money faster, you know, because it does take a while to build up the career without a degree. So she applied to university a few days ago and we actually got the mail before she had her bath this morning. She's feeling sick. Oh my God, no. We need to get her some medicine. But she applied for two scholarships and she also applied for university. So we're going to see all of that in a second. But I want her to get some medicine first because girl, um, I'll show you their house actually as well because they have this cute apartment so it's just kind of a small apartment two bedrooms um this is the entryway we have the living dining we still have the banners up from the holiday um so i just ignored one of her friends we have a really nice kitchen the kitchen is really nice i'm not the best decorator and things like that but i did the best we could we have their wedding photos over here which are so cute i just love it um and then we have a little balcony where she can paint he can take pictures they can take cute couple pictures they've done that before here's some of the cute pictures that we've taken of them um since i started playing some candles and then upstairs we do have quite a few rooms we have two bathrooms up here actually one here just on suites the master bedroom and then we have a little bathroom in the second bedroom, which we're currently using as a little study. We have a painting up here, some sketches. Panya likes to play guitar and we have the computer up here. So we need to get her some meds and that's what I was going to do. And then my ADHD just kicked in, but we're going to get her some meds in. Um, but her and where's Panya? Is Panya? Panya usually does go to the gym, but is he, where is he going? Did he just go for, okay. I think he maybe just went to play in the snow or something. But he usually works out, but since we're kind of keeping everything nearby so you can get to know them, he's going to go for a jog. What's his New Year's resolution? I think it was to get a promotion at work. Is there a way I can check that? Oh yeah, he wants to get promoted at work. And Sasha's 
is to lose weight and I actually didn't want it to be to lose weight. I wanted it to be to get fit because I want her to become, not become a bodybuilder, but I do want her to be really muscly. Um, I just felt like that's something she'd want to do. But when I wanted to select that New Year's resolution, it said that she was already fit. So I just selected that because I like to kind of give my Sims a New Year's resolution. Why is she dizzy? Did you not take your medicine? Oh, it's probably, okay, it's from her period, okay. We need to check out our university application because this is a very, okay, she's just gonna go outside anyway, okay, sure. Um, we are gonna check her university application. In fact, we're gonna check the scholarship first because I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God, we won a scholarship. We won the San Maishino resident scholarship, which is anyone who lives in San Maishino can apply. We have 350 simoleons from that. That is definitely good, especially considering we're gonna be saving money anyway, staying at home. Wait, that's the San Maishino resident. Okay, here's the workplace scholar because she does have a job and she won that too, 300 simoleons. So she's got 600 and 50 smiles. I hate how my sims are like moving about so much. It's so like my head's hurting. Okay, guys, just go and sit here, please. And now we are going to check out the university application. I think we got accepted. Yes, we did. Okay, so this is super exciting because I love doing the university in The Sims where I do think it's really fun in this game. So we were not accepted in the Distinguished Degrees program from the Foxbury Institute, which makes sense because we were more of an artsy sim anyway. But we are able to do the Distinguished Degree in Art History, which is what we want to do, which is great. So I don't remember how it works. Like we are accepted. So do we just pick our classes? University um enroll in a university so that's what we're gonna do one thing i hate about winter in this game is i think it's mainly an apartment thing is they always go out to play in the snow autonomously and it's really annoying because girl i just want you to stay in your house not everyone wants to be kids and make snow angels but that's okay all right so she is enrolling into university we're gonna do the distinguished degree in art history which is super exciting. I wonder what other classes she's gonna pick or want to pick. We will be doing the art history degree. And honestly, since she's working as well, part of me's thinking maybe she'll quit her job because we. I feel like it would honestly be less stressful and it means we can put all of our work into, you know, doing the degree um, and getting it done faster because she does want to have a family around this time as well. So if she's working, doing a lot of classes at uni and like potentially raising a baby later on in the degree, I feel like that would be really stressful for me and her. So I think we'll probably do four classes and quit her job and then we'll kind of speed, like what do you call it, fast track the degree or the career after the degree. And we have scholarships and it only costs us, is that 310 million? Since I changed the font in the game, sometimes numbers throw me out. I think it's 310, which is actually really good. We can definitely afford that so we don't have to take out loans and all of that. All right, so let's accept that we are now going to university, which starts in a couple of days. So we are going to quit her job, which is kind of sad because she has, even though we will be like, I don't know, career quit job. So it is really sad because I have worked towards her career for quite a bit and she is level four. But we will be level seven, I believe, once we do the degree. So, you know, she'll be making more money and it makes more sense but even still it just feels a little bit sad it feels like i'm taking a risk almost okay so he has just had a little bath after his jog and he wants to be friendly with sasha and also oh quit job oh my god okay we're quitting job um he's gonna be friendly to sasha because he knows that this is a very big decision for her to make for their family and you know it's a big leap even though it is what she wants to do they have a really cute little relationship and i'm just so obsessed with them they both love to dance as well okay and she also wants to try for a baby but she currently cannot because she is you know on her you know what so we're gonna have to wait for that but they do really want to start a family she wants to be a mansion baron as well which is why it's important for them to make more money and the reason why in my head she wants to have a really nice home is to raise a really nice family, you know? And he wants to be a five-star property owner, which also ties into the fact that they need to have more money. Is he stressed? He's stressed from work. Oh my God, from the midlife crisis. Maybe you should say something nice to him as well, you know? Let's just be nice to each other and cute and everything like that. And yes, so I think Sasha's not working. I mean, she's not definitely not working today now. So we're definitely gonna have a little self-care day with Sasha, I think. Um, Panya has work at 5 p.m. I think it is. Yes, so he's working soon. Um, he does obviously want to be friendly. Were we not friendly with Sasha? 
I don't know what's going on, but he does want to work hard. I think what we're going to do is honestly take some nice pictures because this is a big day for Sasha. She is, you know, she got accepted into university and all of that. So I think we're going to take a cute picture. I'm going to be using the Ravachine. I think it's the Ravachine um, camera. I can't remember, but it's the full control camera. I think it's by Ravachine. I can't remember. Um, and it basically means you can take custom pictures. I'll show you how I do it. And I'm going to get my Sims to stand kind of in front of the doorway. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use the posing thing. Here is the Sim teleporter destination. So we're going to place two of these here. We're going to teleport my Sims here. Let's get Panya and then teleport. How do I teleport Sasha? Okay, let me teleport her using him. And we're just going to use some poses that I've already downloaded using the pose packs. And we're going to use this pose pack. I think it looks really cute. So we're going to get Panya to do the male pose. And we're going to get Sasha to do the female pose. Now I need to find the pose pack again. It's like that. And then when I press play, they will go into the poses. Look how cute this is. And I decided to place a temporary wall and a shelf up here. You just go into build and buy mode and move the camera to where you want it to be with assistance like this. And when you take the picture, it will be great. It will always be in the highest quality possible. And I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than the more expensive cameras that are already in game. And I think I want it to be in black and white. So we're going to do that like this. I think that's so cute. And then we've got a cute little picture for my Sims. Okay, we're gonna put the camera back over. We'll just put it over here and then delete the walls and stuff. And now we have a really cute picture. Is it in her? I think it's in Panya's inventory maybe. Yes. And oh, why could I put the picture up? Okay, let me put it over here so we can just look at it. Look how cute this picture is. This is gonna be like her graduation picture. Okay, let me name this. Um. Not graduation, university acceptance. Sasha and Panya. How cute. I love their name combo as well as a couple. But one thing you can do with this mod, another one by Ravishine. So you click over here. This is kind of like a photo flash drive storage thing. And if you click on this, click on photo studio, create photo gifts. First of all, if you take pictures before you get this mod, you can improve photo quality. You can also transfer photographs onto canvases as if they're paintings, cross stitches. So if we wanted to make this into a painting later on, we can do that. And you can also just create loads of different things, calendars, portraits, all of that. Okay, we're going to place it up here for now and add a little white frame. Hanya's starting work actually in the next hour. So we're going to be doing that with, or he's going to be doing that. And in the meantime, I'm not sure what Sasha's going to do. Is she doing her homework? Oh my god, that is so cute how she's doing that autonomously. I love this candle as well. Look how cute they actually are. I'm so obsessed with them. Let me turn off headline effects. They are actually just so cute. I'm obsessed with this couple. They're so wholesome, so sweet, so cute, everything. But I'm really excited to see how she gets on at university and things like that because obviously she really wants to do it. And since she's not working anymore, she's definitely going to be putting in as much work as possible since they're only really getting one income. And this apartment is kind of expensive, so we will do our best to make sure that we keep it like all, you know, for our future in the meantime, because we do want to buy a house eventually as well. All right. So I think when she's done her homework and Panya goes to work, we are going to go to the local gym to try and lift some weights and get her strength up because her fitness, I think it's pretty good, but I do want her to get more muscular. That was my goal. And I think I can see her definitely being like a bodybuilding kind of queen. So we'll see if she likes it or not, because obviously like sometimes Sims don't like working out. And she has gone on a couple of jogs, um, autonomous, wait, cleaning. Wait, why is there a worm icon? I've never seen that before. Hanya's going to work in his little burgundy shirt. We're going to make sure he works hard, of course, because that's what he really wants to do. And he honestly needs to at this point because, girl, we've only got 2,400 simoleons and not a lot of money. And I'm realizing since I added the Ravishine um, camera, I no longer need this expensive one. So that will help us save some money. Um, Sasha just leveled up her writing skill, which is great. The 700 simoleons. Oh, my God. That is like two days of work for Sasha. 
So we're now, we can now self-publish books. So that's decent. That's definitely going to help us in university. Um, but yeah, I love this family, this household. And guys, look at this view of the sunset. It's setting. Look at the city. Like I used to hate on San Mishino, not because I hated the city, but just because I felt like it wasn't that lively. But when you actually take the time to look around and see the city down below, and just how pretty this is. Oh my god, I'm just in love. Definitely going to be having a little self-care night out, but also in. We're gonna go out for a little gym session, come back, make a little meal with the granny's cookbook. I like to think since she came from a long family line, I've been playing like since generation one. Um, his name is Antonio Garcia. Then he had a son, Jack Garcia. His wife, um, Antonio's wife died. Um, and then Jack was raised by single dad, Antonio. He went to university, he met his love of his life, had three kids, which was Sasha's mom. Um, and Sasha has two uncles as well and cousins. Um, and then Sasha kind of had a rough upbringing, like her mom wasn't really that nice of a person. She was, everyone else in the family that I made was so nice, but Aurora, which was Sasha's mom, who is not gonna be um, in the save at all, was quite a mean person. She, I can't remember if she was evil or mean, but she was not that nice to Sasha. She was closer to her grandparents. Um, so yeah, Sasha grew up single mom, not really a lot of love from her mother, and just kind of left home as soon as she finished high school to kind of make life for herself, even though she didn't have anything. And she was close with her grandparents, although their, her grandparents died. Um, she decided, I need to make life for myself. I need to explore, kind of, you know, re-establish myself and really redefine what family is about. Um, and that's what she wants to do. She wants it to be completely the opposite of her mother who didn't really work or try hard at anything. Her Sasha, oh my gosh, she's feeling a bit dizzy, but we are gonna go head to the gym, not for long because she is kind of tired and it's late and stuff like that. Um, but why did I bring up her family? Oh yeah, I like to think that the granny's kickback was kind of like passed down from her grandmother because her grandmother loved to cook. Funnily enough, her grandmother actually went to, I think, the Foxbury Institute. I think both um, her grandparents did. So she will be the first one, I think, to go to the Brightchester University. So we're going to go over here and work out. She is feeling dazed, so we're not going to be here for long. We might even just be here for half an hour, honestly. But I just want her to just try and do a little bit towards her um what do you call it new year's resolution because she definitely wants to do that she is a go-getter she does stick to her word and all of that but health is definitely more important if you've got a face like that you shouldn't be why is there a helicopter over there hello <laughs> i've never noticed helipads in san Mishino before that's crazy but as i was saying she i feel like your health's more important and yeah she's definitely she is feeling energized though so we will be here for just a little bit longer all right she's still feeling pretty dazed so we're just gonna get her to go home make some dinner and do all of that and leave working out to another day because you know what I just want my sims to feel good and honestly if I'm tired I don't want my sims to like work out if I wouldn't do that you know what I mean I'm lazy <laughs> all right so we are going to get Sasha to make a little dinner for the two of them Spaniel will have some when he gets home if he's awake enough but we're gonna get her to make I've not looked at this actually so there's actually a whole lot of custom recipes that come with this mod it's amazing mac and cheese fried chicken I can't remember if Sasha's vegetarian. I don't think she is. No, that's my mint sim and my not so very safe. I keep on forgetting what sims what. But let's have a look. So she can have everything pretty much. Oh, grilled cheese and tomato soup. Okay, we're going to go with this because I feel like this is like the number one thing you have when you don't feel 100%. Although now that I've brought her home, she's not feeling dazed anymore. So I feel like that's one of the situations where you don't feel that great. But... You feel good when you're comfortable, you know? She's now in her pajamas, so she's feeling all cozy and at home. Is the heating on? I want her to feel, I just want to feel cozy. Okay, it is. But I really must shout out D Sims because she always comes through with the amazing mod suggestions and I found this mod from her. Oh my God, look at that grilled cheese. Look how big it is. 
Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh my god. Imagine eating that right now. I'm definitely gonna be making this very soon because if I keep making this for my sims, I need to have it for myself, I'm not gonna lie. But today was a very successful day for Sasha. She got accepted into university, which was really something she wanted to do. She went to a little workout even though she wasn't feeling great. She made some new recipes and she had some nice quality time with Panya, had a little cute little photo shoot. We can see the picture upstairs. I also wrote to show you this wonderful plant, I love it. But so cute, she's gonna have an early night I think because she does, she doesn't have work tomorrow, she has uni, right? But I think we're just gonna have, get her to brush her teeth and things like that, wash her face, and she's gonna go to bed. And Panya finished work, is he gonna have some grilled cheese? Okay. Looks like Panya's company underestimated the power of creative counting, so the threats of layoff have receded into the background. Panya's job is safe. That is amazing because Panya was really stressed about being laid off from his work. That's why he wants to work hard as well because he was scared he was going to lose his job. So he's definitely tired from work, but I do think he is happy, you know, from not having to stress about, you know, working all the time and stuff. Oh, and Sasha's just looking at her painting. She's really happy with like all of the progress she's made recently. She's definitely one of those people that likes to you know, just kind of slow down and appreciate all of the accomplishments she's had. She does want to look on the bright side, but she's already feeling good. But we're going to end the day off here for these guys because they've both had a very big day. And thank you so much for taking time to watch this video and get to know my family. I love these guys so much. These guys are definitely so cute and I'm just so in love with their little family. And I can't wait to see what more they get to accomplish in the future with children and things like that. Okay, just ruining the cute moment. But okay, well, it wouldn't be my Sims game if they weren't getting up at 1am to pee. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you soon with another Sims 4 video. Bye!